He, um, I'm pretty sure because he plays Wi-Fi a lot, so I'm pretty sure he might have. Um, that could be true, yeah. Might have played some matchups, but I feel like well, this is one he doesn't play a lot, though. I I can probably see that, but you know, he, I think he's in some Wi-Fi crew, so you, you never know, man. So I guess we'll see like what, what he's got on his sleeve, and let's see what Tater knows about this matchup. All right, so right now, Tater at a a little bit of a deficit right now, catching. He's catching Cater up in the air, continuing with the aerials. He spiked him so fast. Whoa. Wow. Spargo, please. Cater just came off a win. <laughs> Let him believe. breathe a little, man, guy. Yeah, Tater just pushing forward. Yeah. <gasps> oh, whoa. We read the air dodge. F smash. So right now, it is looking like Spargo has the matchup here. He knows how to play against Tater Nader. He even caught the Mecha Koopa falling off of the platform. Wow. So far, very good showing out of Spargo, continuing to press on and keep Tater off the ledge. Huh? That air dodge was actually immaculate. <laughs> it was magnificent. Yeah, it was not nasty. That was that was magnificent. Outstanding. I feel like this matchup is really bad for Bowser Jr., honestly. Yeah, this, it's hard to get in on the sword. The only thing he, I mean, and even Side B has a lot of startup, so Spargo knows when he's trying to run in. You know, it could be a bad matchup, or maybe Tater doesn't really know the matchup, per se. I mean, it could I, be. I, I don't I don't think he knows, like, the matchup. Like yeah, there's not it. too many clouds. Yeah. Not anymore, especially not, it's not Smash 4, man. Smash 4, man, everyone dropped this, this character except for, like, maybe, like, three people, and that's it. Yeah. Spargo being one of them, and a nice dash deck. Now he's up three stocks to one. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think he was afraid he was gonna like, um, but break a shield. So you try to like either parry parry halfway through the yeah. forward smash. <laughs> because dude, if you if you parry um, if you parry um, Bowser Jr.'s F smash, you can um, you can uh, parry like all of them. You don't have to like keep pressing the R button or something. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, nice to know right now. It's uh, working out very well for uh, Spargo. And that Nair actually going to stop the cross slash. Right, nice little trade. Oh, wow. Sick. Wow, oh, he almost caught it again. He's nuts, he's nuts, he's nuts. Nice air dodge from Spargo, though. Not getting a punish with up smash. Didn't even get up attack. Kind of thought that we would have been seeing that. I mean, he's doing okay now, Tater. Like, I mean, he's adapting to like what Spargo's doing. So. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, getting caught by his own Mecha Koopa. He's not looking too great for uh, Tater. Attack. We're living. We're living. Are we gonna see an edge guard? I wonder. Trying to get the down air spike. Wow. That almost killed cross stage. That's yeah. crazy. Well, good, huh? Yeah. That's that's the new thing that they added into this game. The Mecha Koopa actually just holds on to you until it explodes. Well, the dash attack definitely gonna take that stock. Spargo living at 162. It's funny because we in the last set we saw K9 and uh, K9 and Tater struggling to kill each other. They were surviving at like 130 plus, and then same thing goes for uh, right now. Uh, Tater was leaving Spargo with his stock at 160. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, going straight back. I think was there a counter pick? No, we're going back. Mm -hmm. PS2. All right, so just charging limit a little bit. And up you got a shield once again. That's one good thing that, <laughs> that all Cloud players do. And it does like 20% every time, so there you go. Now, this, now he's up to 60%. He's got Tater at 60%. But it only takes one grab from Tater to get uh, Spargo back to the same exact percent, so. Wow, back here from Spargo going to take Tater's stock already. Great call out on the jump. So right now only sitting at 56% on his first stock. Very nice, once again. Until, the, uh, whoa, that was a sick conversion. All right, his limit. Yo, Cloud's flying. He's actually flying right now. He's yeah. soaring. Yo. He's going to release it, right? He has to release it, right? Yeah. Okay. I think it's fit, is, I think it's 15 seconds, right? Ooh. Air dodge to it. Couldn't do much there. Really could never do anything in that situation. All right, up air. But we have we we got swords. Oh, but we got we got a hammer that combos. It's not a hammer. It's a wand. It Lem is. Lemmy has a wand. Oh, or, oh they have wands. In this yeah, game, they right? switched them up. Uh, That's lame. Yeah. <laughs> Only hammers. 
All right, well, Spargo sitting at 72%. This is pretty good so far. Uh, this is better showing for, for Tater right now. Yeah, I think that F smash really saved his life. Yeah, and definitely uh, brought the game back to somewhat even. But right now, Spargo got the second stock and still living. Another up B out of shield. All right, Spargo off stage, but just kind of jumps back. Very interesting. A little too late on the down. Oh, okay. All right, he's dead. Even, yep, Tater's adapting. All right, even game. Tater only 12% behind. This is very <laughs> a big difference from the first game. But just like that, 54% already tacked on. Tater trying to get, trying to start up his combo with up tilt. Not gonna get it. He's got the grab. Spargo sitting at 44% and continues to just attack on percent. Up airs, up air streams, back air. Um, I, I predict a side B, Clement. He made it back. These hands on this girl is so good. <gasps> that was so smart from Tater. Oh my gosh. Yes. Like, he knew he was going to, like, he was he not approaching, so, like, he was thinking, okay, no more. Yeah. He was like, he was thinking like, okay, he's not approaching me, so he's obviously gonna do a blade game. So he up he's like over the stage and then air dodge. Yeah, That's and so it could have been uh, also that he was trying to. He, he knew that he had limit. He had limit online, and he the timer was about to expire. So he's like, he has to release it. <gasps> yeah, man, I'm tired. I mean, it's late at night, man. I'm usually not this tired either. It's so okay. I, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm probably gonna play this. this All right, game, so. well, get ready. All right, so we have game three, Spargo and Tater. So right now it's looking like it's gonna be a 3-0 from Spargo, but Tater definitely trying to fight back and has been putting in a lot of work. Uh, almost took that second game. Already 42% though. Spargo continuing to just put on percent. Oh, and try to get the F smash. That definitely would have been a zero to death. All right, Spargo on stage. Nice call out on the drop down with the Nair and gets that limit cross slash. It's gonna take Spar uh, Tater's first stock. Up the out of shield once again. And he's about a, he's about a lap of a percent, man. Good grab, yeah. Tater's gonna try to bring it back as much as he can. Yeah, dropping shield though on the on the blade beam. That's not the thing you want to be doing right now. Two triple down smash. Okay, not gonna work though. None of them. Yeah. Okay. Tater's back on the stage, sitting at 64%. Spargo is still surviving. Tater needs to get this stock off now. Perfect. <laughs> Going for that Kamikaze up the off stage. That was a very smart thing to do, especially at the high percent that Spargo was sitting at. All right, Tater needs to put in a lot of work. This is his last stock in the set right now. He's going to need to, to clutch it out. I mean, needless to say, though, that's going to kill Cross Slash. Uh, Could have been bad DI, but. Either way, nice showing from Spargo. Spargo bringing it right back to Grand Finals. All right, so we're going to have Razo come and commentate Grand Finals, Spargo, and Elegant. All right. Here we go. What's, what's popping?